Today we're going to take a look at some different automation techniques. Uh, in particular, one that's becoming popular is to automate a low pass filter onto your instrumental for a certain period of time, usually over the course of a hook or a bridge. Again, so it's just a low pass filter for a certain amount of time. Now we'll be working with sample one from here on out. Um, and the first thing you'll need to do to your track is apply an EQ to it. So I can just double click in this EQ box and bam, one pops up for me. Now we'll need to set our low pass filter somewhere around 500 to 600 hertz. So I'll just put this, put this right here and you can listen. and kind of get an idea on what sounds right. But after applying your filter, you need to open your automation lane for that track. So you can do that just by hitting A. It'll pop up for you. This is your automation lane. This is where you'll draw in your envelopes to automate your changes. Uh, to get started on our effect, you'll need to scroll over to your track and in this box that says volume, you'll need to choose channel EQ. Um, once you do that, you'll get a drop-down menu, and it looks a bit intimidating at first. So I'll kind of stick to the basics here. But you'll need a high cut on and off, and this is going to tell your high cut filter when to kick on and when to kick off. So you'll see I have a blue line now, and I can begin to draw in my automation envelopes for my filter. So the first thing I'll do is drag it down to the bottom and switch it off. I want it to kick on from bar 5 to bar 9, so a nice little 4 bar bridge. So I'll just put a dot point around bar 5, let me get one here, line it up, and then I'll switch it back on. So now I'm telling my filter to activate. Then I'll put a dot point around bar 9, and then switch it back off. So as you hear playback, watch the effect visually on the EQ. Now let's say we wanted to give this effect some motion. We wanted it to fade in and then gradually fade out. We can do that by automating our frequency cut. So if you just scroll over here to the left corner of your track, you'll see a triangle. If you click on it, you'll get another automation lane for this track. And this allows you to combine multiple automations for a single take. Now it gave us volume because that's by default, but we need to go to channel EQ again and choose high cut frequency. So now we'll get an orange line and we can begin to draw in our envelopes. So we'll do something like this. We'll bring it all the way up. Draw in a couple points. And watch the effect it has on the EQ now. So this has been a look at some simple ways you can make use of automation in Logic Pro. My name is Slick Nixon and check us out at PlatinumLoops.com.